Yo, what's going on YouTube? We back with another one. And I know I wasn't I I asked if y'all wanted me to do this video, but I was just like, fuck it, I'll just record the video. But yeah, man, this email Yudoka is becoming a lot bigger than what it is. And I see a lot of fucking platforms that do reactions and shit like that do it. So I was like, fuck it, let me give my little two cents to it. Um I was trying to find um what's the name, the the videos and shit like that, but I couldn't find it, so I just found this video and uh um what's her name? She has it seems like she has both clips because I wanted to cover what Kendrick Perkins said and also what Stephen A said and shit like that. Um yeah, man. Um let's just get right into the video, man. But first things first, y'all already know what to do, man. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you comment down below what y'all think of these videos. And yo, let's get into a discussion, man. And also, man, let's get this video to ten likes, man. We got our first goal of 100 subs, man, which I appreciate every single day. And yeah, man, let's do it. Let's continue. And now let's go for 200. We're just going slow, slow and steady, man. Slow and steady. Talk surrounding the recent suspension of the head coach for the Boston Celtics, Ime Udoka. It came out that he had an affair with a woman who worked at the organization. It was consensual, but he violated company policy by having relations with another employee. We're going to go ahead and get into a clip where Kendrick Perkins was giving his opinion and the host Malika Andrews couldn't stand when Kendrick tried to hold the woman accountable as well. But first, take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click that notification bell for updates. Let's go ahead and get into it. Right, and, and listen, I agree to that aspect, but here's the thing too. The word accountability, okay? Accountability doesn't just go to Ime Udoka, okay? Accountability goes to the other people that play the part in that as well. Let me tell you another thing I didn't like about my good friend uh, Wick Grossbeck and Brad Stevens in this press conference when they asked, is anybody else going to be punished? And they said no. And my whole thing is, is this, right? These are some of the facts that have been out. These are some facts that I know that, you know, this relationship, one of these relationships that was had, that was had with Ime Udoka and one of these women, it was concentric, meaning that this woman actually played a part in it too. So my thing is- Facts, man. Like what's the, what, what's the big idea with just fucking bringing out the man and fucking publicizing it, but not fucking bringing out the other party involved in the situation? You know what I'm saying? And that fucks with Ken I fucks with uh Perkins, man. Like, he comes he comes with the realness, bro. He comes real. Like he doesn't he doesn't sugarcoat shit. He fucking says it the way we would fucking talk about it behind closed and shit like that. Go ahead, Perk. Oh. Is yes, Ime Udoka was wrong. We get that. His punishment, he deserved that, and whatever else follows, I hate it for him, but he put himself in this position. Facts, and plus you cheated on Neil Long, bro. For real? But why are the other people getting left off the hook? Well, That's the Kendrick, problem that I have Kendrick, right now. Kendrick, Everybody got to be held Kendrick, account. I think that we need to circle back to what Shanae said, is that there was a investigation that was conducted by an independent law firm here. And without, I think that transparency is what will rule the day here. And so without having all of the information, it is unfair and irresponsible of us to go and to speculate on that because what we have to- well, I'm not, I'm not. But it wouldn't be a speculation if they would have just fucking put out the fucking, who was the woman that was involved. Like if the woman was, if, if, if it's consensual, it's consensual. That means she consented to fucking doing it also. So like. There wouldn't be any speculation if, what's the name, if they would have just put out the name of the one also. Like, what the fuck? What look? I'm not speculating. Sure. I have the information. I'm not speculating. But what we have to go with here is the fact that an independent law firm came in, did this investigation, and the facts that they were presented, they came to the conclusion that Ima Udoka violated a policy that's, that warranted a one-year suspension. And I share your frustration with the lack of transparency while understanding that there is some things that they need to, from a legal perspective, keep private but knowing all of that understanding all of that we have to come to the uh, conclusion that whatever rule the conduct that was broken on one side it is not the same on the other side i thank you for your perspective how is it not this she's just she's just backpedaling and fucking defending the woman like like fucking insane like it, it's fucking retarded bro it was consensual 
they both should have gotten a punishment. He, nobody's defending E Main. Nobody's defending this. But if it was two people, both people should be accountable for the situation. And then we wouldn't have any speculation to go on. Whatever she's fucking talking about that a law firm came in and it was only, oh, it was only you may, no, it was both parties. They just don't, it, it's a whole fucking nightmare if they want to fucking put out fucking information on what was the woman and shit. Bro, put that shit out, man. Like fucking fair rights, right? Fucking feminist bullshit, right? Fucking fair rights all over the place. So fucking treat everybody fairly. Uh, we will revisit this story later in our show. We also have a little bit of basketball to get to. Why did ESPN hire her anyway? I'm sure she's only there for their diversity quota, but they're always hiring these feminists to talk to men. I actually agree with Kendrick here on this one. Ime Yudoka broke a very important rule in the company. They don't want employees messing around with each other. So yes, he's 100% out of order for carrying on with that woman. I think he should be punished for that and face whatever consequences. Looks like that's going to be the season long suspension. They're hitting him financially as well. Fine, you broke the rule, you face the consequences. All I'm wondering is why isn't the woman also being held accountable? If she's an employee too, then she broke the code as well. Their decision not to name the woman who also broke the code, that's what's causing all the speculation and creating all the issues for the women who had nothing to do with this. Because you got everybody, that's another thing that I've been seeing looking at Twitter and everybody's issues on women. And a lot of women are being pulled under the bus or like fucking just, just dragged into the situation for no reason. But it wouldn't happen that way if they just put out the information. Why this shit should have shouldn't even came out. It shouldn't even came out. It should have just stayed behind closed doors. Like, yo, why is his information being fucking put all over the fucking Like it makes no fucking sense. Like, yeah, let's blast the man, but the woman, she's perfectly protected. Like what the, what what how does that make sense? How is that even fair? Like that's that's fucked up. And then they had Malika stumping all across ESPN defending the women. She got into a disagreement with Stephen A. Smith. Take a look. And basically told the world he's ours but we ain't gonna use him yeah. and they didn't give parameters you know? of what it would and, take and they, to reinstate they, they gave him. no parameters of what it would take for reinstatement they you know they they, they didn't specify what, what punishment they gave him beyond suspending him for the year do is he getting his salary for this upcoming season has it been cut in half i told he's only getting about 50 percent of it has that been cut he in characterized half characterized as okay. a significant financial okay. penalty so, so you've got that going on and and i'm gonna say and this reminds me of the same situation that happened with LeBar Ball and fucking Holly fucking annoying ass Quirm over here. Fucking, y'all remember fucking when LeVar Ball came on the show, on the show and fucking all of a sudden just because, oh, uh, what's her name? Can I, um, I forgot what she said. She said, can I, can I talk something? And then he made a, a, a comment which wasn't even sexual or anything like that. It wasn't even nothing like, serious. And she said, oh, let's keep it respe uh, respectful. And fucking, he just got kicked off the show. He can never be allowed on ESPN ever again for nothing. But yet, she can fucking, there's clips of her back in, like, yo, fucking her bending over in, for, in front of football players, her fucking flirting with football players and all that. But a little remark that's, that wasn't even nothing crazy. You could, you, you, you she shouldn't have even taken it seriously and fucking ESPN just jumps on it like, ESPN can cater a little too much for the wrong shit sometimes. But I understand it's a fucking billion dollar business. Like, it is what it is. But still, like, some of these. It, it, it's annoying, bro. It's annoying. Say this again. It said in the numerous news reports it was a consensual relationship that violated organizational policy. So only he is in violation of the company policy. Mm -hmm. The woman who elected to have a consensual relationship with him is not in violation. He gets to get mentioned and put on front street. We don't know who she is. And that's what I just said. That's exactly what I just said. Like, how the fuck is she not being mentioned? The, what, what about the other women within the Celtics organization who have been victimized because wrong assumptions have been made by their involvement? If you knew exactly who it was, that would alleviate the concerns of all the other women who have had their names paraded out into the streets. What about them? You ain't thinking about that. So, so here we are. 
We're throwing him out to pasture. And again, Ime Yudoka cannot be defended. His actions are his actions. I Nobody fights for black coaches more than me. But I am telling you, a, sus- a, a, a firing would have been warranted. Or you keep him. But to keep him, yet suspend him. By the way, not just suspend him, but the, for, for the suspension to be indefinite. It's almost it's worse, just, like a lame it's, 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 That's what you did. You ruined his, yeah. you ruined his career I, okay. for the next few years. He did it. I he did his action. Have- but... NBA reporter and host of NBA Today, our friend Malika Andrews. Malika, do you have us? I've got you, Molly. Thank you for having Hi. me. Yeah, thank you for being with us. And obviously, you had the statement from Odoka that was given to you. What's your reaction now after hearing the press conference? Well, uh, Molly, thank you. If I could first start start with this. Stephen A., with all due respect, this is not about pointing the finger. Stop. What, what became apparent to me... It's not about pointing the finger, but it's about what's fair. There's a fucking difference. ...me in this press conference is that we do not have all of the information here. And it was frustrating to me that the Celtics declined to elaborate or to give more specifics about what exactly the rule-breaking was that led us to this point. To, to that, I just want to get that out of the way first. But to answer your question, I, Molly, I think what stood ahead. out to me... I, I think what stood out to me is that Brad Stevens, he was upset. That's what stood out to me about what he termed uh, rampant Twitter uh, BS is the word that he used, that women were unfairly dragged into this within the Celtics organization. You could see that Brad Stevens was visibly upset about this. And I also found that to be gross and unnecessary, that folks were bringing in the names and the images of women that is just not a fact, that was purely speculation. And so to me, that is what stood out. But... The Celtics as an organization could have done more and short of doing more ahead of this yesterday, they could have owned that responsibility in this press conference. I understand that there were legal parameters that they had to operate within uh, for everybody involved. And I appreciate the fact that they brought in uh, outside counsel and did a thorough organization. And I think that that is something that was clearly uh, necessary in this situation. But the fact that it was able to go on all day, the fact that we are sitting here debating whether somebody else should have been suspended or not, we are not here, Stephen A., to further blame women. That is not why we are here. And that's the part right there that irritated Stephen A. Smith. She tried to turn this into a don't point the finger at all women argument. When all Stephen A. Smith was saying was that the woman involved in this situation who also worked at the company, she should be held accountable as well. He wasn't trying to blame all women, but Malika, she really has a problem with any woman being held accountable. First of all, let me be very clear. Oh, he about to say some shit. Mm. Hold on, let me fix my chair. Hold on. Uh, Stephen A, let her have it. I don't appreciate where you're going with that. I'm not blaming anybody but Ime Udoka. He deserves, the fact of the matter is I've said he deserved to be fired if they were going to fire him. If you're not going to fire him, then don't fire him. My issue is all of this being publicized. The point that I'm trying to make it's just you like you're not mentioning. That excuse me, excuse me, excuse at- me. I listen to you. You're the one telling me to stop on my show. It ain't happening. Okay. Boom. <laughs> you go. That's a fact, bro. Like, why? And I said this also. Why is it being publicized? This shit could have been handled. Be how the fuck? And why are people even being allowed to even speculate? If you're gonna put his information, her information, let them know who the fuck it was. Why the fuck is his life and his career going to be tarnished and fucked up while hers is still going to be fucking perfectly fine because nobody's even going to know what the fuck he did? That's not, that's not fucking right. That's not fucking fair. That's not... Like, what the fuck is that? Okay, that's number one. She's 27 years old. Stephen A. Smith, he's 54 years old. Twice her age. He allowed her to talk uninterrupted on his show for several minutes. But when he's talking, she's being disrespectful when interrupting him. Number two. I've already said 
he deserves to be fired or he deserves what to, to be there and handle it internally and privately. If you're not going to handle it privately, if you're going to publicize it in that fashion, then obviously it provokes everybody wanting to know, OK, well, mm -hmm. who are the parties involved? Mm -hmm. When you have Amina Smith in Boston and other women pointing out the fact that there were women who were wrongly implicated in all of this, it's a disservice to them. I didn't come out with the report about a consensual relationship. I didn't come out with the report ahead of time leaking that we were they were going to suspend him for the year. They did that. And my point is, considering how pervasive this kind of stuff has 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 existed in professional sports for many years. My whole point is, is that, excuse me, make sure that you handle it in the same fashion. It has always been handled. You could have fired him. And then we could have speculated till the cows come home, but he's gone. But to keep him there, keep him employed, but in the same breath, suspend him for a year, then also that year is indefinite. That is the issue that I have. Nobody's trying to protect Ime Udoka, and certainly nobody is trying to protect, uh, uh, is, to, is to excoriate the women involved or anything like that. I'm talking about how things of this matter are usually handled from an HR perspective, from an organizational perspective. That is not consistent with what we have seen throughout the years. That is the only point that I was trying to make. I'm not trying to attack anybody. And if anybody deserves to be attacked, it's Ime Udoka for putting himself in this position. I've made that very clear. I'm just talking about you got owners and everybody else. They know the kind of stuff that's going on. You didn't say anything about anybody else. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about them. They didn't say anything about everybody else. All the other times this stuff has happened. But now when it comes to him, it's all over the place. That is my issue. That is my only issue. And see, the part that I don't like is how Stephen A. Smith, he started backpedaling a little bit. No, stand on the same principle. The I kind of noticed that a little bit, but he was making valid points. He like he did, he was backpedaling. He, he came away from the fucking the woman needs to be accountable also. But he was making great points on how the organization is not fucking. They, why why are they treating him this way? Like it kind of fucked up. You get what I'm saying? Like it's just it, it just doesn't make sense. The woman that's involved in this situation, she should suffer the same consequences. Suspend her, fire her, whatever you're gonna do. But instead, she's being protected when she violated the same code. It's so much I wanna discuss on this situation. I do wanna give time to see what other information comes out, but let's go ahead and get the conversation started below. What do you think about this inter- That's actually what I was trying to do today. I was trying to see like if there was more information out and stuff like that, but uh, I didn't really see anything else come out. Um, I was watching it again, first take and shit like that. Really came out about that shit. So I was like, fuck it, I'll just make a video. But um, yeah, man, like she said, man, let's get, this was a great video. She did a great job. Um, Malika, man, like she, she, yo, she dumb. That's it. But yo, let's get the, con like she said, let's get the conversation started. Tell me what y'all think of this. What, what y'all think? What, what, what do y'all think? Should the woman be accountable? Should she not? Should they keep it a secret? Is there something that I'm missing? Is there information that y'all have that I don't have or that this woman didn't have? Like, or what is it? Like, let me know. Comment down below. Make sure y'all like and comment. Sorry. Make sure y'all like and subscribe and comment down below. And let's get this video to 10 likes, man. All right? Let's do it. I'm out of here.